Pero puedes hablar en español si quieres, pero you killed it with your hair today, te digo. Oh, ok, thank you. You are the king of style, así que que tú me lo digas, <laughs> me la sube, como decimos aquí. Well, talking about um, language, talking about English, how do you feel, Camilo, about um, all these whole interviews you are doing, this language in English? Do you feel um, nervous? Because I do, so that's why I want to know. Bro, I promise you when I, so my, my, my thing with English, right? Mm -hmm. like every time it's less intimidating and more frustrating. Like, I mean, right now for me, it's frustrating <laughs> because my full personality doesn't fit in English. I haven't been able to have that level of, of um, um, fluidez, like to fit my entire personality in another language. I'm working on it. But right now, you know what? I just like jump into it and I just try to speak whatever I know. And when I don't know how to say, it, I just say, how do you say? It's the same thing I feel about speaking in English. Like my whole personality doesn't fit in the language and I want to say more, but I have to just say what I, what I know how to say. Of right? course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, guys, first of all, it's a pleasure to talk to you. And at the same time, when they told me how to interview Jacob, I thought, well, this is amazing. Let's do that. And then they were like, you're going to be interviewing Camilo as well. And I was like, okay, best day ever. I have to interview two fantastic musicians <laughs> at the same day. And then they told me the interview was um, with both of you together. And that was like unexpected for me, honestly. So I want to know how did you guys met and decided to create Mi Corazón Together? What an amazing song. I really enjoyed it. From the start till the end. That's amazing. No, it's, it's beautiful. We had been uh, admiring each other, secret fans of the other person for many, many years before we met. And uh, okay. we finally met in Japan, in Tokyo, in August of Tokyo, uh, August of, uh, of 2023 in Tokyo. There's a festival in Tokyo called Summer Sonic Festival. And um, there's an amazing musician in Japan called Gen Hoshino. Gen Hoshino is his name, sorry. And he is a, a brilliant musician who really loves music from all over the world. And he had this idea of bringing in lots of musicians he respected to play together. And so he got me and, and Camilo on the same stage at the same time in Japan. That's how we met, was, was in that process. And both of us were, were determined when we, when we had the, this musical, musical meeting to, to, to become friends and to, and to see what would happen if we created some music together. So we, we met and I met Camilo's beautiful daughter and his beautiful wife and We were able to yeah. connect and, and it was just the most heartwarming. It was the, the best part of the whole day was uh, the gig was fun, but the best part of the whole day was meeting Camilo. And it was my whole soul filled up to. to oh, the that's so cute. Yeah, Camilo, what do you have to say about it? <laughs> He's so cute. You, you love each other, guys. <laughs> that I feel the same. I have to say that I feel the same. And then I see Jacob there and I'm like, le pego un codazo a mi esposa y le digo, bro, look, look who's there. Amazing. No, Marika, no puede ser. Yeah, that's amazing because um, it's refreshing to hear this because there's this like false uh, thought that uh, when people do music together in this industry is because just of, of, of the business, you know, mm. and not because of, of the feeling maybe. And to hear this whole story, it's, it's so refreshing. It's nice to know that, that music is still done that way. Mm. For for sure, yeah. There are so many ways of making music, and and you can make amazing music with somebody who you don't feel this kind of hard connection with. But I feel like the mm -hmm. best music always comes when you love each other in some way. And, yeah. and for us, it was like you know, love at first sight, almost. Absolutely. Oh my god, I can see that. I can feel that even behind the screen. I can feel <laughs> you guys um, have this connection. First, Jacob, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about um, the Jesse Volume Four. Mm, it's an uh -huh. album with 16 songs and a lot of unexpected and different sounds and collaborations, including Sean Mendes, Chris Martin, Tori Kelly, John Legend, John Mayer, Mr. Camilo here, and many other talented artists of the world. How much time does this process took for you? I mean, to create um, something as ambitious, as huge as this. I think you are including lots of voices, orchestras, gospel choir. I mean, we all know you are a prodigy, but come on, tell us it's as hard as it looks like <laughs> even for you. 
Oh, uh, well, I mean, it took tw 29 years to make this album, it's really. Uh, and I'm 29 years old. And, and since I was born, I think I was absorbing the world and, and trying to figure out how to say how I feel about it, because the world is a beautiful and confusing place. There's so many different kinds of things that happen in your life. And I, I really wanted to make an album that that I could stand behind and say, this is how I feel about the world, you know? And so I, I knew that I couldn't do this by myself. I knew the only way to make an album where I could really describe and show how I feel about the world and also learn how I feel about the world was by building bridges uh, between my world and other people's worlds. Because that, that's how you learn in, in, in life. You know, you, you bounce off another person and you absorb that, that energy. So, so for me, it's been a, a really exciting and challenging few years of traveling around all the all corners of the world and performing shows and having musical sessions and and building these bridges and and learning so much i can't tell you how much i've learned from from this whole process is every every time you you make a song you learn something new whoever you make it with and and and, and for me I, I i just had this feeling when we met in in tokyo with when camilla and i met in tokyo that this is not just a, a musician I deeply respect, but it's a human being that I want to, I, I, I want to be like Camilla when I grow up, you know? It's, it's, yeah, what, what, we all want to be like Camilla when we grow up. I mean, I don't exactly. even know him personally, but his energy is just like trespassing. He's so, yeah, he's, he has this vibe that you can feel even kilometers away. <laughs> kilometers away, yeah, I feel it right now. Yeah. So I, I, I feel like with this album, for me, it was... When I was thinking about who I wanted to work with for the album, um, you know, there were kind of there were two there were two questions. One is how does my heart feel when I think about that person and listen to their music, and secondly, you know, what what do I have to learn from this person? And and I think for the first for the first question with with, with Camilla, there's overflowing amounts of openness and warmth and um, and courage and and uh, delicacy, taste, like these like beautiful recipes that that Camilla makes of of songs that just feel like oh. Everything is in its place. Yeah. Everything is it's like it's like a it's like you listen and it's like you've had a delicious meal, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. just right, light and great and beautiful. And but then the second question, you don't know until you until you meet the person. You know, you don't know what you're going to learn. But for me, I I think that that there's, there's there was so it was so instantaneous the feeling that it was a, just this mutual kind of like this this bridge that we were building between our worlds and how how the love kind of flowed back and forth and both of us were were kind of we didn't know what to expect before and but but we knew it was it would be special as long as we kept our hearts open to each other and that's what we did and and the result was this was this this tune me me, me corazon which which for me is just one of the most kind of mem like for me the most memorable and and beautiful pieces of music I've ever been a part of and uh, and yeah. so much of that is because of this this man you see before you here yeah, I, I really love Mi Corazon. I really love this song and I love the video. I honestly um, almost cried. I don't know if I am just like too sensible, but I, I almost cried while I was watching it because it's really a masterpiece. It's full of visual and sound experiences. And what I like the most about this song is that um, it has like the essence and the identities of you both guys. Uh, like you can um, hear, you can you can know that it has all these Jacob Collier's moments. <laughs> um, when the music takes you from a universe to another, like it makes you feel lost for a moment, but then it puts you back in the road. But it also has all these Camilla's magic uh, melodies you've been talking about, his sweetness, his expressions, his words. It's, it's just beautiful. And um, thank you. Thank you for 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 the good music. You both both of you do great music and do great have, have done great projects, and it's refreshing as I told you to to have you both of you together doing doing something like this. What would you say is the key to create a song that respects both of you and your essences like that? Because you know sometimes things happen in the studio like maybe egos that can be the worst enemy <laughs> yeah, from an artist yes. for an artist. Especially when creating, right? So, how do you deal with that? Well, ego, it's very necessary in 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 certain moments of mm -hmm. life, but for sure, when you are in the present moment, when you don't feel threatened by any situation, when you feel secure, and when you really trust the scenario you're in, there's, there's no need of of the ego being the main character of anything mm -hmm. so so mm -hmm. in this session when we started throwing ideas it was never like yo 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 
remember this is me and and this is you that's ego right like classifying yeah. like yo 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 like let's dissect this yeah let's remember who i am let's remember who you are and let's try to like to you know to let be clear with that but when you don't have the ego being the main character you 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 first you feel secure of being who you are without even trying and mm -hmm. when you don't try to be yourself and you just be you know mm. that's when your true identity comes out and then when you are secure about who you are is when you feel um secure to jump into another kind of identities and universes you know since you remember who you are you don't feel like unsafe of jumping can, there yeah you know, you're just like whoa um it's crazy to me that many years ago i used to watch um camilo and eva luna on youtube making these sweetest covers singing together uh, and at the same time probably i used to watch jacobs um i harm you like these videos harmonizing random clips that oh random yeah people send to you and i can say that a younger version of me addicted to musical content uh, in youtube videos <laughs> is really glad that both of you had come so far and that now you are collaborating and doing this stuff like the music video is a masterpiece as i told you the song is beautiful it's amazing so thank you very much for all the good music for your time it's been a pleasure to talk with you wow. um who seem to be really good human beings uh apart from being very good musicians so thank you very much i love uh, you guys oh i love you too thank you for your lovely questions for sure oh, thank you so much thank you <coughs> goodbye